Hey everyone, this is Mike from F2F Tech, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hawking W12 ACM access point. Um, this was uh, just recently released by Hawking and is on sale at Amazon right now for around $100. It is a, uh, it's a great deal right now currently on access points if you're looking to upgrade your current network to uh, something that's AC compatible. Um, so just going to take a quick look around the box right now. Here we're taking a look at the front. And then we're going to take a look here on the sides and just kind of shows you the package contents, what comes in the box. Um, and then there's a model number down there as well. And then we're going to take a look at the uh, the back of the box. And to the right we're going to see our product specifications showing you the standards uh, that it does support A through AC. Uh, up to 1200 megabits per second theoretical and the frequency of the radios, um, the modes, um, power input and etc. Um, take a look at the other side here and just showing some system requirements and uh, again the, the part number at the bottom there but yeah box looks pretty good so the next step is to uh, is to open it up alright so let's go ahead and open the box right now Alright, so the first thing we see is the user manual uh, on the disk, basically. Um, also a registration form, product support information form. And uh, then a quick installation guide, and we'll kind of go uh, through that here on, a little bit later. And then the access point itself, which is extremely small. I'm going to take the plastic off the front there. And... Uh, shows you right there the model number in the front, Hawking access point. Take a look at the back where we have uh, the mounting points. Uh, shows you the Ethernet port and the uh, the power adapter port as well. And then next is the mounting plate. This is what you can use to attach it to a ceiling or to a wall. Um, we'll lift up the bottom here and see what's inside. Alright, first things first is the Ethernet cable to uh, to use for installation or for setup, shall I say. Then some uh, some metal drywall anchors along with some installation screws as well. Uh, then some rail guides if you want to install the access point on a rail, you certainly can do that with the guides. And then inside this box is the um, is the access point AC adapter, which will, you can use for setup, um, or you can use it indefinitely if you want to use uh, this instead of using power over Ethernet. All right, so I wanted to show you the. Uh, the size of this access point to kind of give you perspective. Here's the uh, DVD-R, and uh, this is how big the access point is. So it's it's relatively small. It's it's a little bit larger than uh, carbon monoxide detector, or smoke detector. Um, but it, it, if you install it in the ceiling of your of your second floor or your first floor, it's it's pretty. Uh, it'll blend in pretty well. So when you open the box, you'll get a quick installation guide, and within this guide, um, it's pretty much everything you need to know about installing the access point itself. Um, kind of gives you a brief rundown of the package contents, which we already went over, um, then obviously the requirements, and then it kind of gives you a brief overview of the device itself. Um, that there is a reset switch on the front of the device, uh, there is a blue LED, um, it's purple when it's on, it's blue when it's starting up, and it's amber if there is an error with the access point. Um, so setting it up, you just use the included AC adapter, plug it into a laptop or desktop. Could configure it with the Windows computer to set up with a static IP address, and then log into it using these uh, admin username and 1234 with the password. And then could start setup. It's a quick setup. It's, it's, it's really simple to get everything going. Um, select your SSID name, you can have it do auto channels as well, so you can have it check every hour or once a day, it will go ahead and scan um, the networks around you and, and find the best channel uh, with the least amount of traffic, so that, that's definitely a nice um, a nice touch, and then uh, you can obviously set it up with a static IP on your LAN side as well, which I would recommend you doing, um, and then you can choose your different methods of uh, security. Uh, this one, obviously, you probably want to stick with either a mixed mode or a WPA2 all, on all of it, and um, it's really straightforward. Um, personally, I actually use a PoE injector uh, for mine. I do have mine installed on the ceiling of my second floor of my house, and uh, it does cover the second floor and the first floor uh, very well. So, um, taking a look at the data sheet here, this is also on the website, it kind of gives you just a little bit more information on the uh, access point itself. Kind of goes into some, uh, you know, if you're in interested in the decibels, 
um, on the radio and uh, the sensitivity uh, if you want the dimensions here the operating temperatures and so on um, what type of chips it's uh, chipsets it's using here uh, the uh, information on the LAN ports and flash memory and uh, and so on um, I will say that this is um, a relatively cheap access point so they're not using the the most uh, high-end uh, chipsets you're going to see in here they're using the MediaTek uh, MT76220A um, I'm sorry MT76200A which um, essentially is an older part it was released uh, back in 2012 and this will take care of your 2.4 gigahertz band uh, wireless N it also has um, the uh, 580 megahertz MIPS processor um, along with the 10100 portion of the switch and in, in order to get your um, full gigabit on the switch um, that part is taken over by the, uh, the Qualcomm chipset right here so that will take care of that um, also this is the uh, wireless AC portion which is on the 5 gigahertz band and that is um, a relatively older part as well it's actually was released out in 2012 and um, it was made popular by the, uh, the Asus RTAC55U which is one of the first AC routers released to the market I believe and um, pretty fast router I know obviously now and in, in this time frame there are many routers out there especially by ASUS and other brands that are beam forming ha or have beam forming technology and are also much faster or have much faster throughput or at least theoretically um, uh, overall so I mean, again this is a relatively inexpensive chipset now since 2015 at the time of this video and uh, and right now this access point is cheap 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 it's uh, hundred bucks if you got Amazon Prime it's free shipping even right now at, at the date of uh, me filming this video there's actually a coupon for uh, oh, it's not pulling up now but there's a coupon for an additional ten dollars off so you're looking at under a hundred dollars for this access point and, and realistically, I, I can't complain whatsoever with the performance, uh, especially for that price. I will show you that um, uh, just testing it through, uh, I do have a 300 megabits per second connection on down and 20 up. And um, just using my phone, which is a HTC One M7 with its wireless, um, which is wireless AC compatible. And it will do at the max uh, 201 megabits per second. Uh, that's however with good signal it does average throughout my household around 130 um, megabits per second on the down so but still it's extremely extremely good much better than the Cisco access point it replaced which this, this is uh, them side by side this was an Aeronet 1040 and uh, which is just wireless uh, N 2.4 and 5 and this is the size of the new Hawking which is obviously smaller but it outperforms the Cisco uh, as far as throughput is concerned obviously the Cisco is a little more and then we have enterprise options um, however you do need to you know be familiar with iOS and, and and how to set up a Cisco access point this is just a, a much easier solution um, Hawking does consider this an enterprise product um, however I wouldn't say it's as much as uh, I mean Cisco is tried and true obviously Hawking this is a uh, good product could be potentially great for enterprise. I don't really know, but um, for my home use, it's it's plenty good. And so uh, I have it just installed in the ceiling of my second floor, and uh, this is what it looks like on the ceiling. It uh, looks like a smoke detector. Uh, it's extremely small, doesn't take up much space, and uh, again, I have a, a PoE injector and powering it, and have a Cat 5e run through the ceiling, and uh, works out pretty well. So if uh, anybody has any questions about this product, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Um, again, it is a very, I do recommend it, uh, having used it myself for here about a couple of days now, and I've been very impressed with it overall. So especially for the price, for the price you can't beat it. I just, I personally wanted to get something that wasn't $300 like the Ubiquiti Access Point, uh, the AP that they, have, they have released, or even an ingenious one. I kind of wanted something a little cheaper. So this was a good little filler product and um, I'll, I'll continue to use it until uh, I find something better uh, for the same price. So if, again, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, thanks for checking out the video.